Minecraft Anarchy is really cool. There's so much more than just, hey, I can do whatever I want on this server. That is part of it. Literally, Anarchy means there are no rules, but there's so much more than just being able to do what you want, such as cool bases, alliances, griefing, and a lot of cheaters. Either way, recently, the YouTube algorithm has started recommending me people like FitMC and SalC1, some of the biggest Minecraft Java Edition Anarchy YouTubers, and I've always thought about trying an Anarchy server for myself out on Java Edition. I haven't done that since I haven't opened Java Edition in who knows how long. But either way, now that I've kind of gotten back into Minecraft Bedrock, I figured it might be time to try some Anarchy. Let's get into it. Alright, we are here. I spawn inside a block on fire. Nice. Okay. So, the first thing that you do in Anarchy is realistically you want to get out of spawn as fast as possible since realistically there's 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 nothing here it's just gonna be all blocks and huge cobble monsters and stuff like that you're not gonna find any trees or realistically anything useful uh, around here which is why you kinda just need to get out best way to do that is to find another portal so I guess that's kinda gonna be our first objective you also want to get as far away from spawn as you can I'm not showing my cords because I don't know if that's going to end up being useful to anyone else. Um, but I figure I might as well just in case I actually find something cool or like accidentally grief someone or something. But either way, we are going to try to get out of spawn. Well, I found the remnants of an old house. Why someone would choose to build a house here, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here's a portal. This is actually a wacky looking portal. But nonetheless, it'll take us to the nether, so I think that's where we're going to end up going. And we're in the nether with a bunch of glitch textures. There's a gas. And now we need to figure out where I want to go now that I'm inside of the nether. Basically, I'm getting as far away from spawn as I can. Hi, Editor Carter here. After watching back the footage that's on your screen currently, I realized that I really didn't explain why I'm in the nether as opposed to being in the overworld and why I'm trying to get as far away from spawn as possible. So, in Anarchy servers, like I said, the spawn area is very torn up, there's really not much there, and humans have pretty much already explored all of it. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get as far away from spawn as possible so I can find and hope maybe that uh, people won't discover where I'm trying to set up a base if, I'm, if that's what I'm doing. And I'm also just trying to get out of spawn so I can like, find some areas with like trees and places that I can get resources. Why I'm doing it in the nether is so I can get away from spawn a lot quicker because one block in the nether is equivalent to eight blocks in the overworld. So you can travel really fast in the nether as opposed to traveling in the overworld. Okay, so since I am getting low on hunger already, I think I might just try and go to that nether portal up there that I see in the distance. Unless, no, nah, that's, that looks like it's blocked off. So yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go up to this nether portal up here and see if it actually takes us anywhere useful or if about 2,000 blocks out is still going to be filled with color monsters. So, there are leaves, but I do not see any trees. However, maybe there's going to be some wood there. Oh, trees, trees, trees. Okay, this is what I need. Oh, what did I just open up down here? Oh, okay. I literally just stumbled into someone's base. Interesting. It doesn't really have much in here, but I might as well take these crops, actually, just for, you know, like, food. Or, well, I guess that's one piece of wheat, so I can't really do much with that. But, I can cook this food right here. I almost feel like someone's been here recently, which kind of makes me scared, just because, like, there's, the it, it, place is all lit up. The fact that crops were, like, in the process of growing here... It just ma it makes me curious, to be completely honest. So I guess we can just kind of keep on going in a direction. And I don't know. We'll, we'll see what else we can find. 
Why is there a light source right here? I'm confused. Oh, hmm. I wonder if I found someone's base right here. Seems eerie, but... Oh, well, I found another base. Let me go ahead and take this coal with me real quick. Ooh, okay. This is also just someone's strip mine. I'll have to climb back up in a second, but... Can't mine the redstone. There's a little bit of lapis up here. I think I can mine that with... Yeah, I can mine that with stone. I don't think you can mine redstone with a stone pick. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some iron. There we go. Now we'll actually be able to mine some of this stuff in this area. So I'm just going to end up leaving that place. I've got all the materials that I need. So let's go ahead and set off into the unknown. Hmm. Interesting. After a couple minutes of paddling, I stumble across this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's just, uh, wow. So this hasn't been touched since December 19th and March 16th. Oh wow, okay, well this was griefed April 7th and visited on May 5th. Either way, I can't place signs for some reason. It's probably some exploit or something. All right, well, I seemingly have found land once again, maybe. So one thing that makes me scared a bit is that a skeleton has been here. Now, I don't know if there's a player that's been here. Like, I mean, people have obviously been here because of all these planks that have been placed. But I don't know if a player killed that skeleton or whether he burned up. The fact that he was, I collected his items right here. I think he probably just died on his own. But still, it scares me a bit, so just got to be on the lookout for players nearby since, I mean, there's like 50 people on the server right now. Definitely could be around me somewhere. Anarchy servers are just so weird, though. There's like just a bunch of blocks placed right there. So there's this right here. Seems to be like the remnants of a building or something, but... I don't think anything of use is going to come from it, really, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Hello, skeleton. Oh, okay. Someone has most definitely been here recently. I just found a shield on the ground. I, wa I wonder if we're following the trail of someone right now, because I really feel like we are. That's interesting, because I don't think mobs can, like, spawn with shields. I don't think that's a thing. A dead skeleton? Okay, we're near someone. We are like really near someone. Because that st sort of stuff should despawn. So yeah, there's got to be someone around here. An iron sword? more interesting stuff that you don't expect to be finding see i mean okay that could be a mob drop but a shield i don't know see just the fact this person if i if i'm following a person is dropping all this stuff makes me very confused and i'm not sure if it's a mob drop or not seems to be signs of not necessarily civilization or i guess sort of civilization but just the fact that people have been here before since there's a cobble oh, I... actually yeah okay so there's cobble right there there's a furnace and a crafting table back down there on the beach behind me but other than that little piece of cobble and those crafting bench and furnace, I don't know if anything else is really here. It's crazy how far out you can go and still find people, or find the traces of people, I should say. Okay, a definite sign of seemingly civilization. A jungle tree that I can't pick up, so maybe it's glitched or something, but it's on the ground. 
Now those can't spawn naturally. I don't know, I, again, I don't know what the clear lag types of thing the server has, but at th that shouldn't spawn there. Obviously this person, I'm taking the same path as a person before me. I don't know how far ahead of me they are or how long it's been that since I've been behind them the server just doesn't clear items on the ground. I'm, I'm just intrigued, really. So, obviously some chunks have been weird. Someone killed a rabbit right there. Interesting. I'm still sort of on the path of someone, I feel like. So I'm still gonna just keep on trekking on, seeing if I can find someone. Alright, definite proof that we are on the trail of someone. Trees on fire. Trees broken. We're following someone. Oh, what did I just find? Eh, actually, it's just a little bit of a shack. All right, well, I mean, I've, I've been actually something up there. So, I guess I'm still finding traces of player civilization, but I think it still may be a bit of a long journey until I actually find someone. So, I think that's just going to about do it for this video. Um, I, th I think playing on an Anarchy server, even though nothing really Anarchy happened about it, I still think it could be a cool experience if I get it like set up and actually get more established into Anarchy if I decide to play more. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Anarchy Server content on my channel. I think it's a cool experience, but I kind of want to know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more PvP-oriented games, or if you want to see other types of videos, let me know. Again, I still want to do some more Rocket League stuff, but I almost feel like quite a lot of stuff in Rocket League has already been done. And I don't really know how much more variation there is to content that's already been done. Nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying this type of content, and leave a comment to express your thoughts, opinions, whatever, do whatever types of stuff you want to do down in the comments. I may delete your comment if it's uh, not up to par with other comments, though, just keep that in mind. Either way, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace out.